Good morning, everyone. Today is Saturday, October 31st, 2020. My name is Karen bowden Chats, and I serve as Associate Pastor at First Lutheran Church in Onalaska, Wisconsin, and you have found your way to our morning musing. Happy Halloween. I almost forgot it was Halloween. I have pumpkins that need varnish to go out on the front stoop. <laughs> Maybe those will get done today. Who knows? So I've been musing um, quite a bit about this stage of the pandemic that we are in. I hadn't actually, to be truthfully honest, been paying much attention to numbers this week. I have um, a lot on my plate as we get ready for All Saints Day and um, a class I'm teaching for our School of Theology. Uh, we're starting to think about Christmas Eve and what that's going to look like. There's just a lot on my plate. Um, so I hadn't been looking at the numbers as closely as I had. So when I was at one of my favorite local coffee shops this morning and flipped over the page, or yesterday morning, flipped over the page to see um, what the, the headline was of the Tribune, like what was on their front page, and saw that there had been 110 confirmed cases on Thursday, uh, it took my breath away. Um, and as much as I've been trying really hard to be upbeat during all of this time and to remind all of us of whose we are um, and what that means for us to be children of God and followers of Jesus in the midst of a pandemic um, and the truth and the hope um, that we get through this with each other. Um, there have been moments of despair along the way and yesterday was one of those moments. Um, and so um, I couldn't quite figure out what I wanted to do, whether I wanted to cry or curse or scream or all three when I saw that number, because that has deep ramifications for all of our lives. Um, and so um, I ended up at the river, um, which is often a place where I go to think. And as I was sitting there, um, trying really hard not to cry because I don't like to cry. <laughs> I'm not a crier, um, or at least I hadn't been before the pandemic. Um, I So I went to the river, and I was sitting there as I was waiting for a friend to get done with an appointment. Um, and breathing, deep breathing is a huge technique for me. Um, and just pondering what 110 cases in one day means for our community. And as I was doing that... Um, the spirit came as she typically does and reminded me of the verses from Philippians that we have kind of immersed ourselves in, um, as leading up to the days of the election, which is next Tuesday. I hope you have a plan to vote or have already voted. Don't forget to vote. Um, and in the midst of remembering these verses, which mostly are Paul exhorting uh, the Romans on what it means, what it looks like to be a follower of Jesus, which you wouldn't think would be encouraging or hope-filled. And yet in that moment, what that reminded me of um, is the journey that the Spirit has had me on um, for probably more than the last eight months, but certainly I can, I can see it over the last eight months. Um, and that is that we can't do any of these things that we've been reading about in Romans, um, the ways that we are to be with one another, outdoing each other in honor, um, in showing honor to people, in persevering, um, in being patient and suffering, and all the things um, that Paul says. We cannot do any of those if we do not fear, love, and trust God above all things. Um, and we fear, love, and trust God above all things because of the love that we know um, from God through Jesus. And that allowed me to breathe <laughs> a little easier. Um, not because it makes it go away. Um, not because suddenly we're all happy, dappy, you know, and everything's normal again. But that somehow we have 
a way to ground ourselves in God's love um, in those moments when we just can't make sense of the world. And that thing, that love, uh, makes sense somehow. And then gives us the energy, hopefully, um, to do the things that we need to do. So that's what I've been thinking about. And I'm super thankful for this journey of reading through this these short verses in Romans um, that would then come and help me in a time of need. That's my cat. Just ignore that. Um, and so I hope it's been helpful to you too as we um, make our way toward election day and beyond that these verses that remind us of who we are as people of Christ will help carry you through each and every day. I look forward to seeing you in person, dear friends. I hope that day is sooner rather than later. Until that day, be well, be kind, for Christ is with you.